Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Aleke Singapore, consultant dermatologist. Today I would like to talk to you all on how to prevent fungal infections. When I say fungal infections, it need not always be ringworms. There are other forms of fungal infections like Petriasis versicolor or seboric capitis which we all call as dandruff and many other forms. And one of the most or uh, important contributing factor to fungal infections is sweat. One of the most important contributing factor to fungal infections is sweat. Especially during summers and for those who work out, the rate of sweat increases and that contributes to fungal infections. As we cannot avoid sweating completely, it's better we try to do certain things or avoid or prevent sweat becoming the major contributing factor to your fungal infections. The first and basic step for us to follow is which we all already do is to keep ourselves clean and hygienic like cleaning your face and daily and washing yourselves daily which we all do that is one of the basic things that you are supposed to follow again those who work out wash yourselves immediately after workout because most of the times we end up going to our houses and washing ourselves because not everybody is comfortable washing after gym in the gym area so in such cases if you cannot uh, afford to wash yourselves in the gym try to use a wet tissue or normal tissue or a towel which is separately uh, there for you to wipe off all the folds and at least the face or the excess sweating uh, areas to prevent the sweat to get so the whole idea is for us to prevent your sweat from drying up on your skin before you wash it so try to wash it as quickly as possible and the third one is uh, to wear completely washed and completely dried clothes and socks which is very important because if there is sometimes during the monsoons or when the climate is not that uh, sunny or uh, it's, it's not going to um, dry up your clothes completely so in such cases when we are in a hurry and we still wear not completely dried clothes or socks the moisture content present in the uh, clothing can actually contribute to fungal infections so try to wear completely dried clothes and innovators and socks and uh, for those of you who wear uh, closed footwear during the day along with your socks once you come back home wash your feet especially in the interweb areas inter toe uh, areas and uh, clean it properly with soap and do apply a moisturizer do not leave your feet dry or your any part of your body dry generally also even if you're a person who sweats a lot make sure you apply moisturizer daily because hydration is the one that is going to form a proper skin barrier that will prevent your skin from getting infected and if you're a person who sweats more than usual or someone who perspires more, please make sure that you uh, use anti-fungal powders uh, because uh, whatever sweat is there on your body can again just get clogged, it can clog your pores and cause fungal infections. So you can use antifungal powders for which you will have to uh, take the ones prescribed by a dermatologist. Try mostly to avoid uh, over-the-counter uh, powders because uh, the right ones to choose is by one that is prescribed by a dermatologist. The next one is dandruff. Dandruff is also caused by fungus, uh, especially even like post workout or people who sweat a lot. Sometimes they also tend to sweat a lot on the scalp and also during summers and also for uh, those who wear helmets or caps or they works, uh, the people who uh, work with a helmet on the scalp, they tend to sweat more on the scalp and the sweat tends to remain more uh, for longer time on the scalp. So for those kind of uh, people who excessively sweat, you can still wash your uh, scalp daily. But normally you can wash your hair twice a week. Don't make it only once a week because that's going to end up giving you more dandruff or more uh, fungal infection. Um, we usually see alternate days uh, but at least twice a week is more healthy. And when it is coming to the nails, people also develop fungus on the nails. Nail fungus is very common, especially in women. Uh, so try to keep your nails off your nail polish with like no nail polish for at least few days in a month. And if you are somebody who is applying a gel nail polish, uh, try to uh, remove or get rid of your gel nail polish uh, at the earliest. Don't try to keep it for too long on your nails. And I hope these tips will help you to prevent fungal infections but if you still have further queries or questions on fungal infections on how to prevent it or how to get rid of them you can always contact me on my clinic contact number also you can reach me on my social media pages of Facebook and Instagram and other uh, on my website also so thank you so much